Hello guys, Lifehackster here. I received an email recently from a viewer suggesting for me to hardwire my ring alarm's keypad as he saw me install it where my old ward alarm keypad used to be. If you're upgrading from the old ward alarm system, which my house was pre-wired when we bought it, there is usually a junction box for the alarm wiring near your door. A good thing about these DIY wireless alarm systems like the ring alarm is that the keypad is actually battery powered, so you can place them anywhere in your house. But because I have a hole in my wall, I have to install the keypad over it to cover it. With this little hack though, I can use the wiring from my old wired alarm system to continually power and charge my ring alarm's keypad. So I don't have to remove it just to charge it, plus I don't have to worry about turning on power save mode in the app to save battery life. Before we dive in, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you and I appreciate it. Also, I would like to thank the viewer, which he doesn't want me to mention his name, for this little mod that I'm going to show you. Things that we will need. First, we need to have an adapter module, which I got this one at Amazon and I will link it down below. But this will convert the 12 volt from your old alarm to 5 volts micro USB, so that it will be compatible with the ring alarm keypad. Now as is, it will not fit the micro USB port on the back of the keypad because the plug is a bit too thick. So you will also need a sharp blade or a utility knife to shave down the side of the plug that rubs on the keypad. Now do this slowly and just shave off just enough for you to be able to plug in the micro USB. Unscrew the bracket from the wall and you will see the wiring and connector from your old alarm keypad. And what you will need are only two wires, the black and red. These are low voltage 12 volts DC, so you really don't need to turn off power and actually turning off power to your old alarm will kick in the battery, so you'll have to unplug that too. You should be okay as long as you cut the wires one at a time, and I will only need the red and the black wires. Strip both of them, and to make sure, use a multimeter to check the voltage, and make sure we have around 12 volts. Now I'll be connecting the wires of the adapter and I'll be using Wego connectors. But you can always use wire nuts or you can even twist the wires together and tape them. But Wego connectors are way better. Red to red, black to black. Tuck in the adapter and the wires into the hole and inside the junction box. Reinstall the bracket but feed the micro USB cable through the hole. Now we can plug in the micro USB plug on the back of the keypad. Slide the keypad down on the bracket and that should be it. Now this mod will also work with the version 1 or the original version of the Ring Alarms keypad. Now my Ring Alarm keypad is continually powered and I can turn off the power save mode in the app so that the keypad will light up in low light whenever it senses motion. And I don't have to remove the keypad to charge it. Which by the way, with the power save mode, the battery charge actually lasts for a long time. I think the last time I charged my keypad was around 6 months ago. I made a community post about this and a lot of you have done this mod and it worked and still working. But some also have mentioned that leaving the keypad plugged in will wear out the built-in battery and will eventually fail. I found at Ring's website though that you can power the keypad both plugged in and unplugged. So either way, Ring doesn't discourage you to not keep it plugged in. But as always, user discretion is advised if you want to do this mod. Personally, we barely use the keypad. We control the Ring alarm 95% of the time in the app on our phones. For me, especially when arming in home mode at night, I use the app all the time and the reasoning is for me to be able to have a glance on the current snapshot of all our Ring cameras, which is one feature I like on the Ring app before turning on the alarm. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.